Welcome to my Golden Games, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, As me, you guys what? can tell, my voice is still a little messed up. Uh, let's get over here. Hopefully tomorrow, I'll be like 90% better. Uh, that Yesterday, my voice is like completely gone. Alright, let's see what's going on. Hey guys. How's it going, man? What's up? Hey, haven't I seen you before somewhere? What? Maybe not. Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? Miracles of knowledge. <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, well, thereabouts. Why? A hundred gallons? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Okay. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Yikes. Okay, so we need to go talk to Alden in Rhodes. So I'll see you guys when we get there again. I don't want to do too much talking because my voice is, you know, pretty bad right now. So let's get over to Rhodes. Alright guys, we are getting into roads now. So let's go and speak with Alden. This is the guy. Oh! Hey guys, my bad. God Hello. Almighty. My bad guys, I did not mean to I tripped. I fell into the door. My bad guys. Take it easy. Everything's good. How do you do, sir? I apologize for that guy. Sorry to scare you. Glad you dropped in. Hey Alden, what's going I've on, got man? That, uh, information oh. you asked for. Uh I've actually got some other questions for you. Um need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. Oh, I good. knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Blue water, marsh. Okay, let's inspect the document. Here we go. That was weird. I had to go through my inventory and actually find it. For some reason, it wasn't the first thing that popped up. Usually, it should have been, but whatever. Let's see. Okay. So we got Bridge and Blue Water Marsh North. Okay, let's just do it this way. North of St. Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. X. Okay. So we'll put that away. It sounds like Hello. we need to go back to St. Denis now. Oh, there's a bounty mission here. We'll come back for that later. Let's get outside here. All right, Midnight, come here, boy. Don't walk away from me, boy. Come here. Good boy, Midnight. Good boy. All right. So let's see. Now we need to go check the map. We got another stranger mission. Man, there's a bunch of missions that are popping up now. Look at that. We got all these missions popping up. Damn. Here's the mission where we need to go. So we need to ride out there. All right, so we're going to have to ride all the way out there. It's pretty far, but you know what? I'll ride out from here, because it's about the same distance from here from St. Denis. So. Okay, there's so many missions popping up right now. We'll just ride out this way. Wow, there's another guy over there that wants to... There are missions popping up all over the place now. Jeez. Okay, anyways, we'll keep going this way. All right, guys, we are getting to the location now. Wait for the way. Okay. okay, so we'll just wait up on this uh, bridge here. Oh, there it is. Yep. Let's get up here. And let's see. I'll get my bolt action with express ammo. There we go. That should do it. Reload it. Beautiful. Uh, let's get my bandana on. There we go. Who we got here? Yep. Here we go. Dead eye. There we go. Boom! There we go. Alright, so 
Well, the guards are down. Easy now. All right, boy. Come on. Let's get on the stagecoach. Come on. That shot, all right. All right, come on, boy. Follow. Come on, midnight. Come on, boy. I think he's following me. There we go. Put my rifle away. And let's keep moving this way. Let's get my bandana off. And we should be good. Cool. So now we just gotta keep riding into Saint Denis and get this delivered to the scientist guy, I guess. Let's get over this way. Said he was building some kind of machine, so we'll see what that looks like. Ooh, look at that the wildlife. And this game is so freaking awesome. Again, my voice is horrible right now. But this game seriously is beautiful. Over 200 species of animals. Seriously, I hope. Really hope they don't, you know, the water down multiplayer. Because that would be awesome if they kept all the animals in the air. Let's see, we're going over this way. Excuse me, boys. Oh, watch out, watch out. Almost almost lost control there. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me. Come through. Got a wagon here. Don't need to run into anybody. Alright, so midnight should be behind me. Oh, good boy, midnight. Beautiful black Arabian horse. Seriously, that is an awesome horse. All right, ooh. What crops are they growing there? Corn or something? Really tall. Right, so this guy should be right up here. I believe it's the house just north of us here. Yeah, right in front of us. Right in the fence. Take a left here. Uh, okay, we'll just leave it out front. Okay. So. I got your moonshot! Hello, man. Okay. You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. That's yes, sure Andrew that I have. <laughs> oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a invention. great deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? <laughs> the electric chair. What? Oh. It's, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is this guy's inventing well, it, it's the in my laboratory. Chair? The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? I've run into him. As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps <laughs> you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Okay, yeah, sure, no problem. The Mercies of Knowledge 3. All right, so we will continue on to the police chief. So my question is, if he's building an electric chair, what does he need moonshine for? I really have no, I have no idea why he would even need moonshine for that. Anyways, let's get up here and speak with the police chief. Should be right up here on the left. This is here. Oh, well, that's uh, real estate and mortgages. I wonder if that's going to be incorporated into multiplayer. What is going on? There's something going on down there. I'll let the law enforcement deal with that. All right, let's get in here and see if we can speak with the police chief. So, welcome to our humble police house. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, mind if I come in the back here? Hey, I howdy. can't possibly help you if you don't tell Chief, me what you need. I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he uh he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Uh. Okay, fine. Here's a hundred bucks. I got a bunch of money. Here you go. Okay. Well, 
The price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, uh, yes, finding course. a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that <laughs> to the professor. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Police Chief. Okay, cool. Let's go return to Professor Bell. Let's get outside here. Good moonshine. Moonshine. Okay, oh, boy. Moonshine. Midnight. Good midnight. Okay. All right, let's get back over to Professor. Hey, Professor Bell. Ah, hello, friends. Yes, hello. hello. How's Professor, it going? Professor, Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So... The chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fellow here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Got a pony? For murder, Ooh, bigamy, $95. immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mine shudders. Ugh. <laughs> Find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Well, damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Now let's inspect this document really quick. Why is it not popping up right here? That should be popping up. Here it is. $95 reward. So basically, it'll only cost us $5 for that permit. Not too bad, not Why, too bad. This is all coming together wonderfully. Uh, I want it for the murder, final piece of bigamy, the and immoral animal husbandry. Uh, close to the Grizzlies border, north of the tracks above Heartland Flow. Okay. Off you go and fetch the man. His kindly and noble executioner awaits. Yes, I'll go get him. I'll take him in alive. Come here, midnight. Okay, Good boy. boy. Okay. Good boy, midnight. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. I have only a few more adjustments to make. Uh, please hurry with our subject. Roger that. Okay, so let's get out and get this guy. Alright, guys, we are almost to the guy's location to get through this house. Yikes. Hey. Oh, oh. <clears throat> careful, 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 midnight. Yikes, okay. So yeah. this guy should be somewhere over this way. Again, I gotta take him in alive. So I'm gonna try and. Uh, He's my last one on this guy. Let's see, where's he at? There we go. Locate him. Okay, we got a fire over there. Um, hold on a second. Let's get my binoculars out. Is it just him? There's two horses over there. Three horses. Are there a bunch of guys over there? That's not good. Let's get my Lancaster out here just in case. Yeah. Go up the side of this mountain. Damn. Okay, this is tall. This is really tall. It's gonna be all right, midnight. Whoa! Oh! 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 I thought we were dead for sure there. Yikes. Okay. Let's get around this way. Oh! I gotta be more careful. Dang. Okay, so yep. let's get over this way. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode, by the way. If you are, hit that like button. That really does help me out when you do that. Maybe let me know down in the comments below. What you guys think of the episode as well? Easy. How many horses are over here? Uh, hold on. Let's get over here. Got my binoculars. So we got one guy there. Okay, another guy there. Uh, okay, it looks like just two guys. Wait, uh, there's a third guy over there. All right, we'll get off here. So which guy is our guy? Let's see. Um... We should be good. So I'm going to leave it how it is. There's four guys, it looks like, on the map. Let's get my Lancaster out. Who's the guy that we need to take live? Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh! Just going to shoot at me like that? Okay. Who is the guy I need to take live? No idea who's the guy we need to take alive. There's so many guys over here. Shoot this guy. Okay, did I just die? I think I shot the wrong guy. McDaniels has died. Shoot. 
Okay, you're dead. Can you look at me and point your gun at me? I don't think so. Okay, so now I see the guy I have to take alive. Where's the guy I need? Ow! Come here! I don't think so, Biddy! Get down on the ground! You're dead. Oh! That was atrocious. Where do you think you're going, dude? Okay. And let's get this lasso on him. Come on. Got him. Shoot. Come here, come here, come here. Ow, come on, come on, come on, hog time. Come on, here we go. Come here, get down, dude. And let's hog time. Here we go. Okay. This guy's now hog time. Cut you loose? I don't think so. Come here, dude. Let's search him really quick. Where's my bounty at? Come here, buddy. Uh, let's pick him up. Don't kick the horse. Thank you. Right, let's get back down this way. Let's see, where's my horse at? Come here, midnight. Come here, boy. There he is. Come on. Let's uh, get down this way. Okay, let's get this guy brought back into Saint Denis. Let's get him loaded up. Come here, boy. Good midnight. Good boy. All right. Come on. Take me to damn court, Come on, boys. Yep. You're gonna be going back to St. Denis. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Uh, not when you commit crimes, no. Take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them, but oh. need marrying. You killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. He, he tried to you marry his wrong. livestock. We was trying to live Ooh. free. You came along and laid waste. Take me in. Just take me to the jailhouse. That's disgusting, man. That is you know, disgusting. You ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. <laughs> what in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. <laughs> Shut up. Huh? You ain't going to die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. <laughs> what the hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on to kill you. You mean? <laughs> okay. No. Yeah. Man, look well, he's at that sky. Strap Beautiful. you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I yeah, guess I don't that's know why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like. Well, back switching off a lot. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, <laughs> they would. And we got a permit and everything. <laughs> you was in the animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning and strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. <laughs> the storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen <laughs> head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. Oh. No. If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But <sighs> no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something, all right. I seen <laughs> trees explode in front of me. That supposedly took out a moonshine. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Shoot. Let's get on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Shoot. Where'd he kill? Dead. 
All right, let's reload these uh, revolvers. Man, look how beautiful they look. Okay. Let's them up. Yeah. Let's get back into Saint Denis now. Damn, this guy is gonna get lit up. <laughs> Pun intended. All right, so let's get inside Saint Denis now. Okay, this guy here still wants to fight. I'm sorry Just about dead. that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, me too. Well, <laughs> you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. Damn. Sucks for him, but you know he, he shouldn't have committed a crime like that. It's disgusting, by the way. All right, here is his house. Let's see how this guy gets electrocuted. Hopefully, it works to plan. I mean, it probably isn't going to work. Well, we'll see what happens. Here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no. <laughs> All right, let's get out here. here. And, I got uh, let's him. Remove him. Come on. Don't be shy now. Let's go. All right, take McDaniel's back to the professor. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where do you want him? Uh, put him down just there. Okay. Here you go. Now, where's my money? Um, uh. money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. Uh. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. <laughs> It'll be amazing. Oh, I'll be come sure on. I do. All right, guys, it is finally the day. Where this guy gets electrocuted. Uh, so I just came back from the saloon, had a nice rest in the room upstairs, and I uh, you know, had a pretty good bath as well. All cleaned off, ready to see this execution happen. Hopefully everything goes to plan and, uh, you know, the chair Welcome actually on. works. Welcome all to this excellent demo. Uh, what? going to be in a better place. Oh, this Sit sucks calm. for him. Breathe deep and repent. Again, he shouldn't have done. Uh, did what he did to that cabin. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this friend's existence. Oh. It looks like it's working. Maybe. Or not. In incredible! He's nearly dead! So uh. humane! Ah! Oh! Doesn't have enough electricity. That's not good. Well, that sucks. Oh, his life may have been troubled, but his passing is. Peaceful! Uh, peaceful. And... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh! Somebody well, that sucks. Me, please. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. Well, well damn. Seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. <laughs> Well, that sucks. Excuse me, excuse me. It looks like the doctor is dead. And uh, he's dead as well. Damn. That sucks. Uh, can we loot this guy? Like, whoop, oh, whoop, my bad. Okay, he is definitely dead. Uh, let's see, is there anybody watching? Nobody sees this. I'm trying to save this man's life, everybody. I'm trying to save his life. Electric chair blueprint? Is that what that just said? Good morning to you. Okay, let's check that out really quick. Professor Bell's electric chair blueprint. Okay, electric ejection, execution chair. Okay. Well, it didn't quite work as planned. But we all know somebody does actually improve it in real life. 
And uh, it does work for many years. Wow. Okay, well, I guess uh, the professor's dead. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Man, my voice is still gone. I hope by tomorrow it'll be better. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I really do want to hear you guys' thoughts. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, hit that like button as well. Take it easy, guys.